This is Junior Roberts coming to you with realjuniorroberts.com. In this video, we'll be looking at the SI units of physics. This will be a quick review, so we'll be revisiting the SI base units that are used in physics. So stay tuned. Okay, so what are SI units? The Systems International, which is what SI stands for, is the globally accepted systems of units. So all physical quantities are measured in units governed by this international system and may be classified into two groups. And these two groups are base units and derived units. Now what are base units? Uh, SI base units are the basic fundamental units from which all other units are derived. And there are seven basic fundamental units, and they are listed in the table below. So we have electric current, luminous intensity, temperature, mass, distance, amount of substance, and time. And as you can see, associated with each base quantity is its unit and its symbol. So for example, electric current, the unit is ampere, and its symbol is a capital A. And distance is meters and its symbol is M. So this is a table which actually outlines are the seven basic fundamental units and their associated units and symbols. So whenever we multiply or divide one or more base unit, this process gives rise to what is called a derived quantity. So by multiplying one or one, multiplying or dividing one or more base units that causes the causes us to get a derived quantity. So for example, the, uni the unit of velocity, meters per second, is a derived quantity formed by the division of two base units, which are length and time. So quick question, is the unit of area a derived unit or a base unit? Explain why. So some derived quantities can be formed, as we said earlier, by multiplying and dividing several fundamental quantities. This causes the derived quantity to be complicated and very difficult to write. So in this case, what we do is that we give these derived quantities names of the famous scientists who have done work in that era. For example, kilogram meters per second square, kg ms to the minus two, is the SI unit for force and is written as a Newton after Sir Isaac. Newton, right? So here are some other derived units which are named after famous scientists. So we have power after what? We have resistance, home, uh, potential difference, the volt, energy, joule, pressure, pascal, frequency on earth. And these are all famous scientists who have done work in the area which the SI, the derived unit is linked to or, or is used in. Okay, so the recap. So we said that SI units are the units which are used in all physical measurements and they are governed by the systems of international units, the SI unit system, and SI units are derived into base units and derived units. Now base units are the fundamental units which all other units are derived. And uh, derived units are, for, are formed by the multiplication or division of fundamental units. And some derived units are named after famous scientists. So this was a quick review of uh, SI units. So if there was anything in this video that you would like to get further clarification on, please feel free to post them in the comments below or send me an email to junior at realjuniorroberts.com. Also, if you're doing physics and you'd like to be more confident when attempting physics problems, I'm actually giving away a free guide to help you to bridge the gap between mathematics and physics. So head over to my website at realjuniorroberts.com Enter your information and you'll get access to this free guide. Thank you for watching.